I'm going to show you how to make this plain looking four wheel drive look like this at home in your shed. G'day legends, look I want to show you a way that you can spray your bar work, your ute liners or even your entire four wheel drive in a protective coating that not only looks fantastic but it resists scratches and can be touched up at home to look brand new again. In this video we're going to show you everything you need to know about Raptor coating your four wheel drive or accessories at home including the gear you need to apply it, how to prepare the different surfaces, how much you need, how to tint it, how to change the texture of it, plus the best way to touch it up down the track. This right here is Raptor Protective Spray Coating and today we're going to make a start by spraying the bar work on my D-Max. The bar work on the D-Max would get hammered about as hard as any in Australia given where we take this thing. So it pays to protect it with a coating like Raptor. The best thing is Coating is really easy to do at home. A couple of beers and an afternoon and you'll have it knocked over. To start, you're gonna need a Raptor kit like this and an air compressor that's a minimum 1.5 kilowatt, two horsepower or more that can maintain around 60 PSI. We recommend using a larger Neato style air fitting. The more air volume through the spray gun, the more control and consistency you'll have when applying. To prepare the bar work, Sand it back with 150 to 320 grit sandpaper, clean the surface with a water-based cleaner, spray on the Raptor adhesive promoter and you're ready to paint. To do a bar like this, you're only going to need a one litre bottle of Raptor or two of the Raptor aerosol cans. You'll also need the applicator gun that screws onto your bottle. It's best to do two coats on your bar work. Leave it now between coats. Have a look at that, will you? That has come up brand spanking new, but it's not just bar work you can do. Sean, I was also done the inside of his tray on his 79 and also the chassis on the Dirty 30. Check this out. So when you're ready to spray Raptor, it really is quite a simple process. Simply follow exactly what the box says. So it's fill, shake and shoot. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up the Raptor with a bit of hardener. So there's actually a line on the side of this Raptor liner here that you wanna fill it up to. So you wanna give that about a shake for probably about two minutes. Then when you're done doing that, Grab yourself the Raptor applicator, the spray gun, my U-pole here, and it simply just screws straight onto that. So, yeah, this has been specially designed to shoot Raptor lining very easily. Connect some air and you're ready to go. You'll get perfect results with that. How good is that and how easy is it, more importantly? How good does this look? We've coated the tray and the chassis with the Raptor liner and it's come up a real treat. In fact, it looks brand new despite the fact it's done over 200,000 kilometers. So I've had this half tray canopy set up on the 79 for about 12 months. And in that time, I've been to the Simpson Desert, I've been to Cape York and also Fraser Island. Plus, I use this as a daily driver to carry a lot of stuff in the back of this ute tray. Now, I used Raptor liner in here because it is a really tough protective coating. In fact, it's five times tougher than your traditional automotive paint. And secondly, you can touch it up. So I've got an aerosol can here. So first things you want to do is shake it for about two minutes, which I've done. There's the Raptor liner inside and also a little sack in here of hardener. So you're going to put this plunger on the bottom right here, actually piercing the bag of hardener inside the can. Now you want to give it another shake for about two minutes. So just give it a quick wipe down and then you're right to paint. Would you have a go at that? It practically looks brand new. Now the real beauty of Raptor is that its uses are limited only by your imagination. You see, you could do an entire vehicle with this coating. You might have something that's been sun damaged or scratched from too much time out in the bush or it might be a brand new vehicle. Check out this Triton as an example. A question we get a lot when it comes to Raptor is why would you do it over a regular two-pack auto paint respray? Well look, there's several reasons, but the biggest one is cost. An auto paint respray would normally cost you thousands and it's almost impossible to do yourself at home. However, go with a Raptor coat and it'll cost around 900 bucks and with a few mates, you can get it done at home. It's perfect for older vehicles with sun damaged or faded paint or say for Shono and his 80, where he got all the panel damage fixed and needed a cost effective respray. It also has the same UV stability as an automotive two pack paint. 
However, today we're going to be respraying a brand new Triton for the Raptor team to show you that you can do it to any four wheel drive. Just like the bar work, step one is to strip the car down and tape up anything you don't want coated. Then get to work preparing the surfaces. For auto paint, powder coating and plastic, the process is the same as bar work. For bare metal or bare aluminium, you need to prime it with a Raptor Acid Etch Primer, which comes in an aerosol can. Raptor comes in three variants, black, white, and tintable. To spray the Raptor any color you want, use the tintable kit. You need to mix up the color separately. So if you're using one liter of Raptor, you'll need 50 mil of Raptor compatible color. Add this in with your hardener and you're good to go. For the Triton, we used two pack tint. You can also change the texture of the Raptor from very coarse to much flatter. There's two ways to do this. Adjust the air pressure from your air compressor. Low pressure means thick and chunky, perfect for chassis and other places you need rock protection. High pressure gives you a flatter look, something you might prefer on your four wheel drive's body. The other way is by purchasing the Raptor variable gun. This allows you to adjust the texture at the spray nozzle. For most four wheel drives, you'll need two kits to fully respray it, which is about eight liters of Raptor. And time wise, well, grab a few mates and you'll be able to knock over a simple respray in a weekend in the shed at home. So folks, if you want to transform the entire look of your four wheel drive and at the same time protect it from marks and scratches in the bush, well, grab yourself some Raptor and get spraying. If there's anything in this video that we haven't covered, put your questions in the comment section below and the team at Raptor will answer them for you. Want to Raptor your bar work, tray or a full four wheel drive? You can head to raptorliner.com.au to find your local stockist.